With just weeks before the start of I-STEP testing, we finally know what students can expect. Issues with the length pushing test time to 10 hours or more led to emergency action to trim things down. Our education reporter, Rich Van Wyk, is at the State House tonight with the compromise being pushed forward and the new push to shift power away from the state superintendent. Rich? John, a lot happening here. First of all, this afternoon, the Republican-dominated Senate today voted by a two-to-one margin, changing the law, which automatically makes the superintendent of public instruction, Glenda Ritz, the automatic chairperson of the State Board of Education. At the same time, the deadline for taking I-STEP tests is approaching faster than lawmakers can move on the changes. Today, they, in effect, told the Board of Education, go ahead, start making the changes. We'll pass the law later. The House unanimously approved a resolution spelling out its intention to make the necessary changes to I-STEP. A similar resolution from the Senate will allow the Department of Education to move ahead with steps to shorten the exams. Governor Mike Pence, who was outraged by the length of the tests, praised everyone. Who's your family's deserve to know? We're all working together uh, to shorten this test, and we're going to get it done. And just like we said. The rare cooperation between the governor, lawmakers, Superintendent Glenda Ritz, and the Department of Education hasn't softened efforts to remove her as chairman of the Board of Education, ending what critics call a dysfunctional relationship. It's a, it's a common sense reform that will encourage greater harmony, uh, greater cooperation if you simply allow the Republicans and Democrats who serve on the State Board of Education to select their chair. Meanwhile, outside the State House, the focus is on nearly half a million ISTEP exams that have to be shortened before testing begins next week. It is going to require some fast movement. That's why we're going as fast as we can. The Department of Education is cutting three hours of testing time off exams that were written to take 11 or 12 hours to complete. By the end of the week, teachers should know which parts of the test students need to take and which parts are being left out. We believe this is something that uh, teachers and schools will be able to handle. We'll get, again, we'll get them clear guidance. The Department of Education isn't saying exactly how it's going to take so much time out of these tests. Will educators simply have to start pulling pages out of these textbooks that's, or t uh, test materials that students use? Are they going to be crossing out certain sections? Will students be told, for instance, to answer only the even or the odd questions? Given the high stakes nature of this test with the high stake consequences, teachers are going to want to get that information as quickly as they can. Reporting live, Rich Van White, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.